I remember smoking weed for the first time when I was maybe 12 or maybe 13. It was somewhere around there. That was the beginning of my Mary Jane love affair. Now back then it was occasional and mostly for fun, but as I grew up, so did the number of blunts. Consumption of liquor was way before 21, but y'all know what's up. Party hard, cause we young, we don't give a fuck. Yo, turn down for what, we do what we want. Drink until dawn, blah, blah, blah. Yo, when does it stop? In the last eight years, I've never gone more than 30 days without putting some sort of poison into my body. That's eight years of wasted, that's eight years of cost, vomit, paranoia, wasted money, embarrassing mornings, nights in cold cells, sex I regret, violence towards friends, words I wish I never said, family disrespect, torturing thoughts in my head, feelings I can't keep suppressed, unnecessary stress. Eight years of running, refusing to see that all I'm running towards is death. But drugs and death seem to be an ongoing cycle I'm caught up in. You see, the men in my life succeeded in forever escaping reality. They were trapped in their minds like mice in a vice. Ears was deaf to any form of advice, and trust me, when they went, they didn't go nice. My uncle died at the age of 56, took one too many sips to the point where his liver couldn't live, spent more time at the bar than he did with this kid, was too in love with the Millers. Damn, I swear alcohol is a real serial killer, my stepdad. Got drunk and decided to relive his old days when a syringe full of heroin helped him escape. And yeah, I know we all want to reach that better place, but I know a needle's not the way because one good trip took away my man Renee. And ever since that day, my family hasn't been the same. And I, know, and I don't know if heaven exists or if the door's open for people with addictions, but sometimes I hope it's no myth because even my real dad was afflicted. Now, I was too young to remember his actions. I just know that he stayed in some sort of trance till one day the come down was so bad, I guess he couldn't hack it, grab a gun, and then blast it. Yeah, I know this shit's tragic. So to myself, I'm asking, if I felt firsthand what these substances do, why don't I take better care of my body? But I just can't seem to silence the sadness inside of my mind. My broken home broke my spine so much of my life has felt like a lie. It's hard for me to hold my head up high, but these drugs keep me up. Let that alcohol numb, the coke get me turned up. Some E, some weed, some tabs of LSD, and I'll ignore the nosebleeds, cold sweats, crazy thoughts in my head, cause it's all good while it lasts, but when will this pass? Cause now my highs are ending faster, and I'm thinking more about a life of happily ever after. Outliving the age of my fathers, cause I know that I'm stronger. And I've heard this writing can be therapeutic. The pen on pages is like repentance with a cadence. Reminding myself that the highs that we chase in can also be cages, cause the higher we climb, the harder we find that when it's just you in the mirror, there's nowhere to hide. A stone face might seem a sign of strength to susceptible minds, but a true